Hi everyone, it's Elle here to do the daily reading. Today is September 19th. Let's get on with it. Um, let's see what's going on. Whoa. Okay. What is this about? Alright, let's go. The daily, the daily energy for today. Five card spread. I hope that everyone has had a really good start to their day. And in some parts of the world, the day is ending or has ended. Okay, we'll take it. All right. Six cards. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. So there's a lot of energy today. Uh, someone could be carrying the energy of just a heavy, heavy load in regards to workload. Um, someone could be carrying like a secret or secrets or just, just something that is a burden to them. And um, something that keeps them weighed down. They can't get from under the pressure. The the responsibility of let's see the tower the ace of cups the empress the nine of wands the seven of pentacles the two of pentacles so it looks like there's a lot of contemplation in regards to maybe someone who is um Somebody might come out and just tell the truth today about how they feel because they've been looking at the past. They've been looking at a situation. There might be separation in regards to um, maybe how the relationship, friendship, romantic partnership, business, whatever, how it, um, how they left off. It may have left off where there was high energy there might have been argument, there might have been fighting, there may be jealousy, there may have been greed, whatever. So this person is evaluating, should I go back into the fight? Um, they've taken a break from from the Eight of Wands. This is the Nine of Wands, and, it, and now they're evaluating it from an ener energetic level. Also evaluating how much time, energy they've invested here. Looking at past investments wanting a return on what it is that they've invested here because they view maybe a situation or a person as the empress very abundant very creative very alluring very loving beautiful seductress uh the ultimate female archetype or male Someone is still in love with someone and, and, and it, it's causing a tower moment for them because they haven't been able to, to come and confess this. This is what is a heavy burden here. Or someone still has likeness or, or friendship or wanting to rekindle friendship or, or love or likeness for someone here. They're weighing up the, the option. Two very real options. Do I walk away? Do I go? Do I stay where I'm at? Or do I go back? What do I do? It's becoming taxing to them. It's, it's a heavy load. It's a burden here. We've got the nine and the ten of wands. This talks about someone energetically trying to physically and energetic, energetically move toward something or someone from the past because they see their worth. They see that it could yield them great return here. They've also put in a lot of time. This is a person who values time. This is a person who values, they'll say things like, well, I've known them or I've been in that situation for X amount of years. This is a person who values time.
someone may be coming back it's a lot of coming back it's a lot of self-reflection we are in the ninth month nine of wands this is the time where you you really evaluate we got three more months in this year you're, you're evaluating do i want to carry this burden this secret into the new year do i want to carry these feelings or lack thereof or feelings for another or feelings of wanting to go back or feelings of wanting to move forward or whatever do i want to carry the indecision do i want to carry two very real options into the new year i'm looking at what is best for me and trying to make a decision here we don't have a two of wands but we do have someone weighing up two very real options the manifestation of is here it's like two job offers two love partners two businesses which one do i put more time in where do I put my energy? So it looks like there's a lot of evaluation here. Um, people are really trying to get clear for um, the time going forward, especially going into the new year. It looks like someone is still in likeness, love, whatever you call it. It's it's caused a tower moment for them with maybe, it could even be a secret person or a secret opportunity or a very abundant opportunity here. Um, anyhow, if this message resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe uh, to the channel. Um, my phone line is open today. The phone number is in the title and it's also in the description box. Um, go over to my website, purchase minutes with L, and then call the number. And guess what happens? I answer. And we can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Okay. Um, or, or go over to the website and book any um, video recorded reading, any scheduled phone reading, whatever. Um, thank you. Take care. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Bye.